Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and today I want to introduce you to the DJI Osmo. Uh, Will and I first saw this at this year's CES. What it is, is it's a handheld stabilized gimbal using DJI's Inspire One camera. So if you have already an Inspire One quadcopter, you can actually buy just the handle and then attach the camera on this and have a handheld stabilized camera. Now over the past year, we've tested a bunch of other GoPro stabilized cameras, three axis stabilizations like the Feiyu Tech G4 and the wearable camera. This one is a little bit of a more integrated system. You can attach your phone to it and then actually see what you're filming in real time over a Wi-Fi connection. And the way it works, unlock it and turn it on. And once it's turned on, uh, it will stabilize over three different axes. For example, the roll, the pitch, and the yaw. Uh, what's interesting with this one is that there's a trigger control. So if I hold the trigger button, it'll actually lock the camera in place and I can completely walk around it. Double tap the trigger for it to do a follow mode. And then if you're filming and doing like a walk and talk, for example, you can actually hit the trigger three times and the camera will spin toward you for a selfie video mode. Uh, could be useful for conventions. We do like a little walk and tour of the conventions. What's also nice is that there is now a microphone in jack. so three and a half millimeter port in here. It's not powered, so you'll need power for using an XLR lav, for example, and you can't actually monitor the audio levels or change it. And there's also a, a little analog stick dial, so you can move the camera with just the handle. Uh, this camera, like I said, is exactly the same as the DJI Inspire 1 camera. It'll shoot 4K 30 FPS, 2.7K 48 FPS, and 1080p up to 120 FPS. But the best way to show you how it works is to show you how it works. So Will and I are going to find a cool place to walk around and show you video from the DJI Osmo. Hey All guys. Right. Hey, so I'm holding the DJI Osmo. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm in the selfie mode, so I'm going to actually Turn it over. Can you give it to Joey from LA? And turn it over to Joey. All Whoa. right, Joey. Hey, uh, Joey. Let's walk around. Well, we're in Seattle. We are in Seattle. What do you do in Seattle? You drink coffee? Yep. You eat churros? That's right. Uh, you, you enjoy go the, the weather? Go Watch to... out for the step. Um, uh, the Experience Music Project is here. It's one of my favorite museums in the country. Yeah, we're actually in the Seattle Center, which is not in the center of Seattle. I don't know if I know Seattle geography well enough to make that claim. Uh, but it's a big park, open area, where you have things like the Space Needle. Yep. Uh, there's the Science Museum yep. around here with their IMAX screen. Uh, a lot of Microsoft-like sponsored projects. They have free Wi-Fi brought to you by Microsoft. Ooh. I and know. then uh, also the Experience Music Project, the EMP. Yeah, it's, a com it's one of the best, like I said, one of my favorite museums on the West Coast. It combines three of our favorite things, music, science fiction, and films. And films, and great exhibits and collections, like historic pieces of instruments, art, props, costumes, yeah. from, from media all over. The last time I was here, I saw Princess Buttercup's dress and uh, in Diego Montoya's sword. This is the armory. I don't think it's the same armory as the one in San Francisco. Mm, no, it's a, it looks like they serve food there. You wouldn't want to yeah. eat food at the armory in San Francisco. No, that's like a big food Very court. Very sticky. Um, there goes oh, the yeah. Space Needle. Do you know how tall that is? A million feet. 1.2 million very feet. very close. Yeah. I think you might how, how be off by it? a factor of 20. My guess? Several orders of magnitude? Uh, 400, 450 feet. Oh, I bet it's 892. Mm -hmm. I bet it's 451 feet, actually. Oh, Price is right rules? Price is right rules. Uh, can we keep on, keep on changing, one-upping, mm -hmm. until we actually get... I mean, checked? eventually one person will go over and then you'll lose. So uh, then it's a game of brinksmanship. 551 feet. I bet it's 621. 680. 681. Oh my goodness. Hey, Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper up here. You think they're from the EMP? I don't think so. So the Experience Music Project right now has an exhibit on Star Wars costumes, and I think some people are taking advantage of that. Uh, I don't think that's 501st approved. If I was here, if my kid was here, I'd have her go up and give Darth Vader a shot right in the groin. There you go. The viewing area yep. is at 520 feet. Huh, so I, I was right. I think you went over. I was 521, I was no, one no, over. No, no, you no, you went 681. You wanna go oh, here up? Here comes the weight. No, I'm good. Um, so yeah, this is Seattle. This is pretty much everything I know about Seattle right now. Well, there's, there's, also, a, there's also the famous uh, Hikes Place Market. Oh, that's right, I've been there. We right. saw Chef Steps there. Chef Steps is there. Um, the place where Pax is, that's a convention right. center. Downtown Seattle. Yeah. 
the Washington State uh, Convention Center. I kind of feel um, like I could drink some coffee now. Oh, where's your favorite coffee place in Seattle? Um, in the Seattle area. You know, that Cafe Victrola we went to the time we came up to see uh, Modernist and Scott uh, uh, is great. Victrola, yeah. great coffee place. And there goes that experience music project. Oh, it looks like water on this side. It's like organic metal. The other side is very reminiscent of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hmm. 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 All right. That's a good enough test of this DJI Osmo. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. So that's some video shot with the DJI Osmo. Um, we haven't done a full test of it yet, but things I want to look out for, how long this can run without overheating. There's an active fan on these cameras because they're processing up to 4K video, which is pretty intensive. Um, other thing is, you plug your phone into this accessory, which is removable if you don't want to use your phone. Um, it's pretty tight right now and does fit an iPhone 6S Plus pretty big phone or you know a phone with an Android phone with a case on it but it is a Wi-Fi connection so that connection can drop out over time it's not a direct connection like you would have on the DJI Inspire um, it looks rugged and it feels solid but I've been told that you shouldn't drop this it's not gonna be as sturdy as say a GoPro with a housing where you can just drop the gimbal or drop the camera and they'll still run you definitely don't want to drop this at all uh, they're announcing this today and it'll be out soon if you're a DJI Inspire owner definitely check out how much the handle by itself costs because you can be use this with DJI's future cameras their X5 and X5R cameras as well and it comes with the world's smallest guitar case we'll have more stuff untested I'll be testing this in the future but until then we'll see you next time